Okay, so first up we have Smoked Oud. This is a Christmas scent, but I really, I really uh, wanted to get this scent. I've been interested in this scent for a while now since, honestly, it came out. So it's not really, I don't know, because there's a few, like, fire smoky, like, chimney scents that uh, I've been interested in. And I really love these scents, and I want to have one for, like, my regular collection. But I'm not exactly sure, because I don't want it to be, you know, toned down for, like, when Christmas does come out, I do release Christmas collections. I don't want either this scent that um that i wanted that honestly mainly goes for christmas i don't want it to already be so year long and then i sell it for christmas so it's like it doesn't have the same you know limited time offer effect or also i kind of don't want to sell one even if it's different because there's like fireside marshmallow fireside there's a different um there's a lot of like different smoky scents so i don't want to have a scent also that's kind of smoky in a regular time and then one for christmas because it's like you might have i don't know it's, it's different but at the same time like it's still like a smoky scent so i don't know i feel like that would just have like less effect on it if that makes sense and next we have toasted coconut i don't know i i found out that i actually really like coconut scents i believe so we're gonna test that out actually in the, in the next video so take stay tuned for that next up we have tonka and oud you can see that next up we have tonka and oud and this is something like this i don't really know what tonka is but i know what oud is is for the most part and i don't know i've been hearing a lot about tonka i'm just not getting into the scent industry so i have no idea what a tonka is and all these extra scents i have no idea what we're gonna be learning okay and next we have campfire marshmallow so i got these fragrances i wanted to get some from midwest and from waxy flower but waxy flowers is a bit too simple for my um for for my thoughts okay so i changed the camera angle but um candle science was having a like 50% off sale with their fragrances and even though we got limited uh money right now I want to go ahead and get some because it's if it's limited then I should go ahead and get the sale so I wanted to get some like I was saying from Midwest for the most part waxy flower is cheaper but their fragrances are a bit too simple for me um they're not as complex and Midwest was a bit more expensive um because all the scents I wanted like six of them right was gonna be 30 something almost 40 something dollars for two ounce samples and they don't even offer one ounce samples and nor do they give out free samples um for the like orders or whatever there was a few scents that i wanted to get from candle science anyway so they just you know pushed me to go ahead and get some and they don't have like a vanilla scent they got one but it hasn't had the best reviews lately uh, i'm assuming the formula changed i don't know what has been happening a lot since like you know the pandemic started or whatever like fragrances and especially from uh candle science and just supplies and like wax and whatnot manufacturers have been changing things around and whatnot because it's like been hard to get their supplies so they've been changing certain notes um so there's been a few scents that have like gone downhill with a lot of their customers especially the ones who you know been using that scent for years and it changed and whatnot it's not giving the same complexity as it was before or it's not working the same as before they don't like it um but i want a vanilla scent um, they don't really have one other than like the very vanilla one i think but that's you know that one has changed i believe over the years and if not that if if it didn't change people just don't like it anymore like it's reviewed badly now it has like three um stars i believe out of five so yeah so i got this uh campfire marshmallow scent and when i was watching um uh, reviews on it people were saying that it was more of like a vanilla scent um like a smoky vanilla so i, I want to try that and honestly it's crazy i have like a lot of smoky scents right now and I also have like a lot of warm scents, like you know, coconut, you know, musky scents. I don't really like the I don't like the word musk because honestly, typically I don't like musky scents um, at all. Honestly, or amber scents, I don't like those at all. My mother loves them. I don't like them. But I wanted to balance it out with some florals and some fruity scents. But with counter signs, they have a lot of scents, but they aren't for me. I feel like they just aren't. I don't know. I don't want to <laughs> bring color into it, but it just feels like. I have no idea what those scents are, and if they're like named weird, it's like I don't get a full view, a full view of what that scent is unless it's just named like this and that or this and that. You know, if it's like this, Opera Crop Grove or like um, Toasty Roadway, I have no idea what that is. So it's just certain scents. Honestly, I feel like a lot of people. I just feel like a lot of people don't know those scents like at all unless like it was just like boom bam in your face and also with like tonka i don't think i've ever smelled tonka before like there's just something fragrance there's just some fragrances that i have no idea about but we're gonna be learning them okay so next up in our fruity uh not fruity what kind of fruit i guess but more floral department we have magnolia and peony 
and then this is one from their newest uh maybe not the newest because i think they've been coming out with collections back to back but they the new collection before either the last two or the last one that is currently out and one i think for like springtime like fresh scents or whatever because i know the flame Accano just announced their fresh scents and stuff and hive and honey i believe too but this one has been getting a lot of good reviews so i hope it smells good because when i heard when i hear smoothie i don't really t i don't typically like sm sm smoothies and i don't typically like tropical scents like if it's like the banana and mango type scents i don't like it but if it's something like you know like a dragon fruit or something i, I may like it even though i'm just not getting the dragon fruit but it is passion fruit pineapple so i'm really excited for this one this is more of a fruity scent um and then lastly we have love spell so this one is one that i was interested in for a while but then i was like you know what this scent is very old and a lot of makers have this scent so let's go for something a little different but then again like i was saying with counter science um collections and stuff like that and just their fragrances the fragrances and the fragrance profiles it's just not a lot that i'm interested in because there's a lot that i don't understand and whatnot and I don't know if this makes sense, but to me, it's like, I feel like a, black, a lot of black people do not understand those scents. In my opinion, I don't know, because a lot of things just, we aren't privy to, because I, yeah, like, I don't, I don't really know what apricot smells like, I don't know what tonka is, I don't know what the uh, thing is going on here, but I just don't know what some of these, what some of these, um, not even the scents, just the notes are. I, I have some, I have no idea what some of these notes are at all, like frankincense and mirth. Like, and I feel like a, more, a lot more, especially white makers that I've seen on YouTube, they know a lot about those scents. They smell them since they were children. I have no idea what those scents are. I know what the, what the main word is, like peony or magnolia. Um, I haven't smelled it before, but I, you know, I clearly know it's a flower. But with other stuff, it's like I have no idea what those scents are. And they may be good, and they may be my favorite, um, you know, if I smell them. But the names of them and the descriptions just don't interest me enough to even want to try them or purchase them. So I will sometime in the future, you know, because I want to, you know, um, expand my horizons and stuff, of course, and like learn those things. But at this moment, I have no idea what they are. And I'm going to stick to what I at least know or what I can guess. Um, but stick around for the next video. I will be reviewing every single one of these scents with their scent notes um, somewhere in the corner of the video. And yeah.